Hey guys, so today I went to the Dollar Tree to find some cool stuff for my pets. I wanted to see what I could find for all my different animals. I only got about one or two things for each animal, um, and I actually didn't get anything for my arboreal geckos because I couldn't find anything. But if you want me to do a more in-depth dive of the Dollar Tree for a specific animal I have, or do a part two of this, or just go find stuff for all my animals, definitely let me know. Um, but let's just jump right in. I'll kind of keep it organized, but like I said, I only got like one or two things for each of my animals. So, first thing I found was this men's fleece scarf. I thought this would be great for my ferrets to cuddle with. I'm not going to give it to them while they're in their cage because it has these tassels on it. But I thought it would be a great option for when they are playing outside their cage if they want to lay down, take a nap, snuggle up to it. Um, it's just a scarf. It's pretty thin, but it was only a dollar, so can't really complain. And it's actually quite long, so let me open this. So this is how long it is. And I chose to get the black and gray one because I thought it would never go out of style, always be in season. Um, the next thing I got for my ferrets is actually this. I think this is a foil deep fry roaster or something. I got this for them because I also got them four bags of rice and I am going to fill this with the rice and let them dig and play. I tried finding something that was pretty deep, so hopefully we minimize the mess a little bit, but let's be real, it's probably still gonna make a huge mess. Um, but I thought I would at least give this a shot. I thought it was a pretty cute idea. Um, so moving on from my ferrets, next I got some stuff for my leopard geckos. Um, I got this banner art paper that looks like wood. I got this to cover the sides because the backs of their tanks are all covered, but I thought I would cover the sides um, and maybe even the back of Damon's um, in this just to kind of seclude their area a little bit more, help them with stress. I've been trying to find a cool paper and I thought this was pretty nice. I don't know how much comes in it. Um, five feet so that's actually kind of a lot for a buck um and then i also went ahead and grabbed some non-adhesive shelf liner to put in the bottom of damon's tank because he doesn't have bioactive tank yet um so i got this for him i thought it was kind of cute he's been on paper towels but why not upgrade him and then last thing i got is this air plant um just to add some greenery it they were kind of lacking in the floral department. I was hoping I could get some like cool viney plants or something, but no, there was none. So I got this air plant, which I don't know, is pretty cool. Um, moving on, the only thing I got, <clears throat> oh gosh, the only thing I got from the actual pet section, um, cause I tried staying away from there cause I felt like that was a cop out, um, is this All My Kids Have Paws treat jar. I thought this was really cute. Um, it's just a little treat jar. I will put some snacks in here. Or this is a great size for Whimsy Shoes too, because um, it's nice and big. So I'll put their Whimsy Shoes in here maybe. I also got a bottle brush cleaner. Um, this has two sides. This is great for cleaning inside of the gecko's hides or <clears throat> inside mouse toys that are kind of hard to get to or tunnels or anything like that. These are a lifesaver and to get them for a dollar is great because they do get kind of gross quick. Next is a tried and true favorite. This little brush thing I use all the freaking time. I have so many of them for all my different animals and I thought I would just get another one to show you because it's literally the best little dust pan to just boop boop scoop up a little bit at a time. I love this thing. Okay, moving on to my mouse slash hamster category. I'm putting them together because my hamster is a Roboroski, so they can kind of use the similar things. Um, so the first thing I got are these self-adhesive hooks. They're like command hooks. I got these to use to hang stuff in my mouse's cage um, on the tank, on the side of the tank. So I'm hoping they work, but I actually got a second option too, which I also don't know if it'll work, but um, over the door hooks, I thought these could hang over the side of the tank. I could put one on each side and use it to like hang things in between. Um, so yeah, we'll see if those work. I'm hoping my plan works out like I'm thinking. Next, I got this cute little pink um, candle 
what is this called? Wax Melt. Um, I got it in pink, so for Valentine's theme, I think I want to do Tribe's Cage Valentine's theme. So I got this to give him, it's a little hide, and then also I could put some food or snacks up here for him to jump up and find. Next, I found these vine balls, which I thought was really cool because these you can literally get at the pet store for like $5, and this was three for $1. So those will be great chew toys. And last but certainly not least, I got this heart-shaped bowl as I was thinking for Chive's sand bath when I make him a Valentine's Day themed enclosure. So stay tuned for that video. I'm going to start collecting things to do it. It's easier for me to just pick one animal to change their enclosure for a holiday than all of them. So Chive's getting it for Valentine's Day. So I'm super excited. Um, let me know if you like this video if you want to see more of this type of video. Um, I had a really fun time. I went through every single aisle and kind of just started grabbing stuff. Um, and I think I got quite a few things actually for just running in there. Um, but please like and subscribe and I will see you guys next week. Bye!